Alvin and the Chipmunks, originally David Seville and the Chipmunks or simply the Chipmunks, are an American animated virtual band created by Ross Bagdasarian for a novelty record in 1958. The group consists of three singing animated anthropomorphic chipmunks, Alvin, Simon, and Theodore. The trio is managed by their human adoptive father, David Seville. The voices of the group were all performed by Bagdasarian, who sped up the playback to create high-pitched squeaky voices. This oft-used process was not entirely new to Bagdasarian, who had also used it for two previous novelty songs, including Witch Doctor, but it was so unusual and well executed it earned the record two Grammy Awards for engineering. Bagdasarian, performing as the Chipmunks, released a long line of albums and singles, with the Chipmunk song becoming a number one single in the United States. After Bagdasarian's death in 1972, the character's voices were performed by his son Ross Bagdasarian Jr. and the latter's wife Janice Carmen in the subsequent incarnations of the 1980s and 1990s. In the 2007 CGI-slash-live action film adaptation and its 2009, 2011 and 2015 sequels, they were voiced in dialogue by Justin Long, Matthew Gray Goobler and Jesse McCartney. Bagdasarian Jr. and Carmen continue to perform the singing voices for Alvin, Theodore and the Chipettes, but Steve Vining does Simon's singing voice. The project has earned five Grammy Awards, an American Music Award, a Golden Reel Award, and three Kids' Choice Awards and has been nominated for three Emmy Awards. In 2018, the Chipmunks received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. A CGI animated TV series reboot, titled Alvin and the Chipmunks, premiered on Nickelodeon on August 3, 2015. Through the continued success of the franchise, the Chipmunks have become the most successful children's artists of all time while garnering two number one singles on the Billboard Hot 100, winning five Grammy Awards, having four top ten albums on the Billboard 200, three certified platinum albums and the song The Chipmunk Song became one of the best-selling singles of all time with five million physical copies sold. History Witch Doctor In 1958, Ross Bagdasarian Sr. released a novelty song about being unsuccessful at love until he found a witch doctor who told him how to woo his woman. The song was done by Bagdasarian in his normal voice, except for the magic words, done first in Bagdasarian's pitched-up, pre-chipmunk voice, then in a duet between his pitched-up voice and his normal voice. The words themselves are nonsense, oo-ee, oo-ah-ah, ting-tang, walla-walla, bing-bang. The song was a hit holding number one for three weeks in the Billboard Top 100 chart. Nothing makes any reference to chipmunks, but the song is sometimes included on chipmunk compilations, as if the chipmunks had provided the voice of the witch doctor. Bagdasarian did record a chipmunks version of Witch Doctor, which appeared on the second chipmunks album, Sing Again with the Chipmunks, in 1960. Bagdasarian performed the song Live on the Ed Sullivan Show. Bagdasarian recorded a follow-up song, the Bird on My Head, singing a duet with his own sped-up voice as the bird. It also reached the top 40, peaking at number 34. While driving in Sequoia National Park, Bagdasarian saw a chipmunk dash in front of him. That moment inspired him to create his chipmunk characters. Bagdasarian planned to have a singing group of reindeer, alligators, hippopotami, grasshoppers, birds, rabbits, pigs, hedgehogs, dogs, mustelid carnivores, worms, and elephants, but everyone who heard the demo called them chipmunks due to being familiar with Disney's chipmunk duo so Ross relented and changed them to chipmunks. The technique was imitated by Sheb Woolley's The Purple People Eater and The Big Bopper's The Purple People Eater Meets the Witch Doctor. The Chipmunk Song The Chipmunks first officially appeared on the scene in a novelty record released in late fall 1958 by Bagdasarian. The song, originally listed on the record label as the Chipmunk Song, featured the singing skills of the Chipmunk Trio. One phrase in the chorus has Alvin wishing for a hula hoop, which was that year's hot new toy. The novelty record was highly successful, selling more than 4 million copies in seven weeks, and it launched the careers of its Chipmunk stars. It spent four weeks at number one on the Billboard Hot 100 chart from December 22, 1958, to January 12, 1959, succeeding to know him is to love him at number one on the same chart by the Teddy Bears, a pop group that featured Phil Spector. It also earned three Grammy Awards and a nomination for Record of the Year. At the height of its popularity, 
Bagdasarian and three chipmunk hand puppets appeared on the Ed Sullivan show, lip-syncing the song. The chipmunk song appeared on the chipmunk's debut album, Let's All Sing with the Chipmunks, in 1959, and was repeated on Christmas with the Chipmunks, released in 1962. The song also has been included on several compilation albums. Bob Rivers did a parody of this song for his 2000 Christmas album Chipmunks Roasting on an Open Fire which was titled The Twisted Chipmunk Song. In the song, the chipmunks are referred to as Thagador, Squeaky, and Melvin. The Three Chipmunks The chipmunks first appeared in comic book form on Dell's four-color comic series, issue number 1042. Alvin, Theodore and Simon were depicted as somewhat realistic, nearly identical anthropomorphic rodents with almond-shaped eyes. When Herb Klin's format films made a deal to develop the three chipmunks for animation, the old designs were rejected and new versions of the characters were created. Liberty Records eventually reissued the early albums with the new chipmunks and it was this new version of the chipmunks that was used when Alvin's own title was released by Dell in 1962. The Alvin Show The first television series to feature the characters was The Alvin Show. By this period, the chipmunks looked much like their modern incarnations. Also, an animated portrayal of Seville was a reasonable caricature of Bagdasarian himself. The series ran from 1961 to 1962, and was one of a small number of animated series to be shown in prime time on CBS. It was not a prime time ratings success and was subsequently cancelled after one season. Ratings improved significantly in syndication. In addition to Alvin cartoons, the series also featured the scientist Clyde Crashcup and his assistant Leonardo. Those characters did not feature prominently on any of the later series. Crash Cup made a single cameo appearance in A Chipmunk Christmas, and in an episode of Alvin and the Chipmunks. The television series was produced by Format Films for Bagdasarian Film Corporation. Although the series was broadcast in black and white, it was produced in later rerun in color. 26 episodes each were produced for the Alvin and the Chipmunks and Clyde Crash Cup segments, along with 52 musical segments. New Albums and A Chipmunk Christmas The final Chipmunks album in the project's original incarnation, The Chipmunks Go to the Movies, was released in 1969. After the death of Ross Bagdasarian in 1972 from a heart attack, The Chipmunks' career stalled until NBC showed interest in the original show and the following year, Excelsior Records released a new album of contemporary songs performed by The Chipmunks. That album, Chipmunk Punk, featured Bagdasarian's son, Ross Bagdasarian Jr., doing the voices of the characters. That album and the continued reruns of the series proved to be popular enough to warrant further new records as well as a new television production, and in 1981, The Chipmunks and Seville returned to television in the Christmas special A Chipmunk Christmas, produced by Marvel Productions, which was first broadcast on NBC on December 14th of that year. Next year, two more albums were released. Alvin and the Chipmunks the group's name changed from the Chipmunks to Alvin and the Chipmunks. In 1983, a second animated television series for the group, produced by Ruby Spears Productions, was released. Titled simply Alvin and the Chipmunks, the outline of the show closely paralleled the original Alvin show. The series lasted eight production seasons, until 1990. In the first season, the show introduced the Chipettes, three female versions of the Chipmunks, Brittany, Jeanette, and Eleanor, who each paralleled the original Chipmunks in personality except for Brittany being vainer than Alvin, with Jeanette smart like Simon, and Eleanor fond of food like Theodore, with their own human guardian, the myopic Miss Beatrice Miller. The success of the show led to the release of a soundtrack album in 1984, Songs from Our TV Shows. After 1988, the show was renamed Just the Chipmunks to indicate that there were now two groups of them. Also introduced was the boy's Uncle Harry, who may or may not have actually been a relative. The show reflected contemporaneous trends in popular culture, the chipmunks sang recent hits, and wore contemporary clothing. One documentary episode spoofed John Lennon's 1966 infamous comment that the Beatles had become more popular than Jesus, by recalling how the chipmunks had fallen in popularity after Alvin boasted they were bigger than Mickey Mouse. In 1985, the chipmunks, along with the chipettes, were featured in the live stage show, Alvin and the Chipmunks and the Amazing Computer. In 1987, during the fifth season of the show on television, 
The Chipmunks had their first animated feature film, The Chipmunk Adventure, directed by Janice Carmen and Ross Bagdasarian Jr. and released to theaters by the Samuel Goldwyn Company. The film featured the Chipmunks and the Chipettes in a contest traveling around the world. In the 1988-89 season, the show switched production companies to Dick Entertainment and Murakami Wolf Swenson, by which time the Chipmunks had truly become anthropomorphized. In 1990, the show switched titles again to The Chipmunks Go to the Movies. Each episode in this season was a spoof of a Hollywood film, such as Back to the Future, King Kong, and others. In addition, several television specials featuring the characters were also released. At the conclusion of the eighth season, the show was canceled again. In 1990, a documentary was produced about the show entitled Alvin and the Chipmunks slash Five Decades with the Chipmunks. In that year, the Chipmunks also teamed up for the only time with other famous cartoon stars for the drug abuse prevention special cartoon All Stars to the Rescue. Subsequent music releases and short-lived acquisition by Universal. On January 18, 1991, NBC the television special starring the Chipmunks entitled, Rockin' Through the Decades. The same year, they released the album, The Chipmunks Rock the House. In 1992, the group released the country album, Chipmunks in Low Places. Released on September 29, 1992, the album was certified platinum by the RIAA, becoming the group's first platinum record and making it the Chipmunks' best-selling album. This was followed by a greatest hits release and a reissue of 1981's A Chipmunk Christmas. By 1993, Urban Chipmunk was re-released. A compilation album, The Chipmunks' 35th Birthday Party as well as a double album called The Chipmunks Singalongs. Their fourth Christmas album, A Very Merry Chipmunk saw a release in 1994. After the release of When You Wish Upon a Chipmunk in 1995, the next year received the release Club Chipmunk, the dance mixes which peaked in the top 10 on Billboard's Top Kid Audio. In 1996, the rights to the characters were purchased by Universal Studios. In 1998, the album The A-Files, Alien Songs was released through Sony Wonder and Columbia Records. In 1999, Greatest Hits, Still Squeaky After All These Years was released September 21, 1999. The purchase of the rights to the characters by Universal resulted in the Chipmunks' 1999 reappearance, in the form of the direct-to-video movie Alvin and the Chipmunks Meet Frankenstein on September 28, 1999. Five new songs were composed for the film that were made available via a soundtrack released by MCA Records. Later that year, the Chipmunks' Greatest Christmas Hits was released. The movie was successful enough to spark interest in a sequel, and in 2000, Alvin and the Chipmunks Meet the Wolfman appeared. Three new songs were composed for the film that were made available on a soundtrack by MCA as well. Both movies featured the original cast of the second series reprising their roles, accordingly the tone of the movies is very similar to the series. In 2002, Universal lost the right to use the characters as a result of a breach of contract with Bagdasarian Productions.